Good morning students. Here in this class, the continuation of the chapter, matrices. Matrices. Write down. In the previous class, discussed the about ah, A inverse, isn't it? A inverse is equal to adjoined A by determinant A. Then, if it is a 3 by 3 matrix, first, how to find that joint for a 3 by 3 matrix? To find that joint, ah, first you find the cofactor of each element, then the transpose of the cofactor matrix is known as transpose of the cofactor matrix is known as adjoint. Send it. Now, here, our aim is to solve simultaneous equation using matrix method. Solving simultaneous equation using matrix method. Okay. Write one question. Use matrix method. Use matrix method. Within bracket write Martin's rule. Matrix method or Martin's rule. To solve the system of equations, I will give one example. 4x minus 3y equal to 11, comma, 3x plus 7y equal to minus 1. All of you look here how to write this equation in the matrix form. First you take the coefficient of x and y. What is the coefficient in the first one? 4 minus 3, 3, 7. Isn't it? 4 minus 3, the second 3, 7. Into... Here the variable x and y, therefore x, y equal to 11 minus 1. Now you can write capital AX equal to B, right? From that, x is equal to A inverse into B. To solve this equation, you have to find A inverse. Then A inverse into matrix B gives the answer. Okay. Again, you know that A inverse means adjoined A by determinant A. First, you have to find determinant A. The determinant 4 minus 3, 3, 7. 7 fours are 28 plus 9 equal to 37. That not equal to 0 means A inverse exists. If determinant A not equal to 0, then only A inverse exists. Then you can find a joint of A 2 by 2 matrix. When you write this determinant, you put determinant notation. That is adjoint means adjoint of the matrix. How can you write? Interchange the leading diagonal 7, 4, 3, minus 3. By determinant A means 1 by 37. Okay. This is a joint. Therefore, x is equal to 1 by 37 into 1 by 37. You can write outside 7, 3, minus 3, 4. Isn't it? Into b. What is your b? 11 minus 1. Multiply 1 by 37 into ah, 7 into 11, 77 minus 3. Then second row into first column, minus 33, minus 4. That is 1 by 37 into 77 minus 3 is 74. Then minus 37. Okay. Then 74 by 37 is, all of you look here, 74 by 37. 74 by 37 minus 37 by 37. What is the answer? 2, 1. Minus 1. Therefore, ah, x, small x is equal to 2, small y is equal to minus 1. 
Okay. Sold. Sold. Right. 5x plus 3y plus z equal to 16. Second equation 2x plus y plus 3z equal to 19. x plus 2y plus 4z equal to 25. These are the three equations. Three equations, therefore three unknowns. Okay, write that in the form ax equal to b. First you have to write the coefficient of x, y. 5, 3, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 2, 4. Agree. Into three variables are there. x, y, z equal to 16, 19, 25. Therefore, below you can write capital AX equal to B. Now, hmm, X is equal to A inverse B. X is equal to A inverse B. Hmm. To find A inverse Ah, it will take time here. This is a 3 by 3 matrix. Anyway, you can find determinant A. Right, determinant A. The determinant 5, 3, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 2, 4. After expanding 5 into its minor like that, you will get the answer minus 22 that not equal to 0. Then below right, A inverse exists. A inverse exist. Now you can find the cofactor of each element. Write the heading cofactor of each element. Hmm. What is the mother? Ah, put a big matrix notation, isn't it? Then can you say hmm. what is the step? Put plus minus plus agree after here this is plus therefore minus plus minus ah ending is minus therefore the next one is plus minus plus then what is the minor of the first element all of you look here i will once again explain 5 into its minor means deleting the row and the column which that 1 3 2 4 you know Determinant 1, 3, 2, 4. Okay. Then what about this 3? This 3? Ah, 2, 3, 1, 4. Agree? 2, 3, 1, 4. Right? 1 by 1. Then the next one is? Ah, 1. 2, 1, 1, 2. Agree? 2, 1, 1, 2. Then what about the next one? 2, 3, 1, 2, 4. Next, 1, 5, 1, 1, 4. What about the next one? 3, 5, 3, 1, 2. Then plus, next one. What about this one? 3, 1, 1, 3. There is any mistake, you correct it. The mother is, when you find the cofactor deleting the row and the column which that particular element occur. Then this 2, 5, 1, 2, 3. Then the last one, this 4, huh. 5, 3, 2, 1, isn't it? Then close the determinant matrix notation. Okay. Or you can directly find the answer. Plus into its minor means you can directly find 4 minus 6. Okay. I will write the cofactor 
cofactor matrix. Check the cofactor matrix. All of you check the cofactor matrix. Check the cofactor matrix. Is it minus 2? Minus 5, minus 3. Sorry, my not minus 3, plus 3. Minus 10, 19, minus 7, 8, minus 13, minus 1. These are all metrics. If you put uh, determinant notation, no mark there. Then next is adjoint. What's the meaning adjoint of A? Ah, find the transpose of this. That is minus 2, minus 5, 3. Minus 10, 19, minus 7. 8 to minus 13, minus 1. That is adjoint. Then what is x is equal to? x means adjoint A by or A inverse into B. You can write A inverse means A inverse. What is the value of determinant A? 1 by minus 22 into this matrix. Minus 2, minus 10, 8, minus 5, 19, minus 13, 3, minus 7, minus 1 into what is B? B. 16, 19, 25. 16, 19, 25. Check the answer. Then 1 by minus 22 into first row into first column. Say the answer. Minus 2 into this 16 is hmm, minus 32, isn't it? Ah. Therefore, the answer is, check the answer, is it 22, minus 22, minus 44, minus 110. Check the answer. Therefore, minus 22 by minus 22, 1, minus 44 by minus 22, 2, this by 5. Got it? 1, 2, 5. You know how to multiply matrix by another matrix. So do by versa. First row into first column. Here only one column. First row into first column. Second row into first column. Third row into first column. 1, 2, 5. Therefore write once again x equal to 1, y equal to 2, z equal to 5. This is the way to find What? The value of x, y, is it? Okay. Let's write one more question. One more question. Copy the question from the board. Using matrices, solve the following equations. All of you copy the question. x plus 2y equal to 5. y plus 2 is a d equal to 8. 2x plus z equal to 5, right? Writing the equation in the matrix form. 1, 2, 0, 0, 1, 2, 2, 0, 1. Into 3 variables are there. x, y, z equal to 5, 8, 5. 5, 8, 5. Okay. Now all of you find determinant A. Determinant A, that is very important step. All of you have to find determinant A. Here the answer determinant A equal to 9. Check the answer. Determinant A equal to 9. That not equal to 0. Right. That not equal to 0. That means, right. A inverse exists. A inverse exists. A inverse exists. Now, all of you find, all of you find, cofactor matrix, cofactor matrix, ah, draw a big matrix form, then plus minus plus, minus plus minus, plus minus plus, okay. 
find the cofactor matrix then the transpose of the cofactor matrix that is adjoint of a adjoint of a it will take time i know so do by yourself adjoint of a then after finding that check the answer transpose of the cofactor matrix is transpose of the cofactor matrix is what transpose of the cofactor matrix is adjoint of a adjoint of a then write a inverse is 1 minus 2 4 4 1 minus 2 minus 2 4 1 the whole divided by 9 means 1 by 9 into okay 1 by 9 into not write this step 1 by 9 into this one okay now how can you write x y z or capital x is that matrix into b after finding that you divided by 9 not to do like this after finding adjoined a into b then divided by 9 is the easy method check the answer is it 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 finish hmm. okay then write the next one right Test 4, one more topic, write the heading. Test 4, consistency of the system of equations, right? Test 4, consistency of the given equation. Write the question, 4x minus 5y minus 2 is said equal to 2. 5x minus 4y plus 2 is said equal to minus 2. 2x plus 2y plus 8 is said equal to minus 1. Okay. Write this equation in which form? Ax equal to b. Write the equation in the form Ax equal to b. Ah, Ax equal to b form. Then you have to find determinant a determinant a determinant a here the answer determinant a equal to 0 check the answer determinant a equal to 0 determinant a equal to 0 that means what is the meaning determinant a equal to 0 right determinant a equal to 0 implies a inverse does not exist a inverse does not exist look here if determinant a not equal to 0 then we can say that the equation is consistent one condition is if determinant a not equal to 0 means the equation is consistent. But here you have to do one more step. Find adjoint of A. Adjoint of A. You know how to find the adjoint of A. Study well all these portions. Adjoint of A means find the cofactor matrix. Then take the transpose. Then you will get adjoint of the matrix. Then adjoint of A into B. Write the line. Adjoint of A into B not equal to 0 implies it is not equal to 0 not equal to 0 write the next last line since determinant a equal to 0 
determinant a equal to 0 and adjoint a into b not equal to 0 adjoint a into b not equal to 0 the given system has no solution anyway if a determinant a equal to 0 means it has no solution and therefore it is inconsistent here the question is test for consistency therefore this is inconsistent 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 once again i will explain if ah, if determinant a equal to 0 then you have to find adjoint of a into b if that is not equal to 0, determinant A equal to 0 as well as adjoint A into B not equal to 0, then you can say that it is inconsistent, inconsistent. Okay. Inconsistent. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we finished that chapter matrix. Hmm. You know the main topics. Hmm. What are the main topics? First one. Ah, addition, subtraction, multiplication. Isn't it? Addition, subtraction, multiplication like that. Then next point is. Ah, we can write. Uh, yeah, what is the meaning transpose of a matrix then a plus a transpose is symmetric a minus a transpose is q symmetric like that then you have to find a inverse then solve the matrix by matrix uh, martin's rule okay these are the main topics if there is any doubt you can ask on the next class okay study well god bless you